So now we want to keep this main timeline clean and clear. Um, all we have to do to add pages is just create movie clips across our timeline. So we'll put keyframes on each of these. Now I'm going to keep this real simple and we'll just use a couple of shapes. Uh, I'll just put a nice white square on page one. We'll change that to a red circle on page two. And on page three, put a green poly star. Polygon, I guess. All right, so we simply just put these shapes and keyframes um, in the pages layer directly underneath. And we're going to go ahead now at this point. Now, this isn't absolutely necessary to see what's there, but the whole idea is that with fundamental idea of Flash, you come in here um, into the main scene one timeline, and the students don't need to touch anything on this except for just changing graphical assets. Everything else just works. They don't need any code. Um, and then you go into the pages timeline, and to create pages, you simply add keyframes with frame labels. Now, under those frame labels, um, you want to create a movie clip which, okay, I left that name symbol one. It's very good practice to match the name of the frame label that you're using. And you want to create a movie clip symbol out of each page. Page three. So that the first two levels deep from the main timeline where you adjust all of the backgrounds and button graphics and pause screens and load screens, you just go in and edit symbols and change around the graphics to change all of those. And then inside of the pages layer, this is really your main timeline that you want to keep your separate pages organized by keyframes with page labels. Now, if you create a movie clip under each page label, then, once you're at the third level deep inside of your page, you now, and this is the same level where all of the example files that we showed earlier on that page's timeline, they were all a movie clip that you double click into and they have lots of action script um, snippets to get you started. But once you're on this timeline, you can treat this like a brand new flash file. You have your fresh timeline, any animations that you want to make, you want to follow the golden rule of animating in Flash to stop from getting the evil tweens in the library is number one, make sure it's a symbol, number two, make sure it's on its own layer. Um, but uh, the idea is that from here you can very simply, without knowing you know, any code really, you can just start putting your graphics in, put a couple keyframes in, create a couple symbols, and you can start creating a linear step through um, application or storybook. Now the idea is of course that within each of these pages um, the students play around with the interactivity and make some things that you can drag around or tilt around or you know play with little simple games within each page but this provides a starting place that you know would take up a lot of the semester just to get to this point if we we're starting from scratch. So it's actually uh, it's actually worked really well, and the students have come up with uh, some really nice projects through it. Um, one thing to note is um, the the mute is global. Whether you have videos or multiple sounds, that will mute everything, which is useful when you click away from the window or the device loses focus. Uh, it will automatically pause and mute. Um, and the pause has a really nice recursive feature where you could have a dozen movie clips nested within each other all animating different parts of a character and the pause button will loop through all of them and pause everything and unpause everything uh, correctly. 